this is a critical Ethereum update. The news indicate that the ETF for Ethereum will be approved today for multiple companies by the SEC, potentially at 4 p.m. at end of the trading day. A lot of anticipation is coming from this change of opinion from the SEC and the U.S. government towards the Ethereum ETF that triggered yesterday a move from almost 3000 to the current price of 3800 an amazing push in a few hours only for ethereum who had been lagging and being disappointing for a lot of crypto investors for a while so on the four hour chart we see that huge movement the ma50 golden cross on the ma200 nice push nice new volume and a lot of people jump on the fact of those news that the SEC may, may, may approve this today because they interacted with all the companies that requested an Ethereum ETF to modify their filing and submitted their new updated filing very quickly before today in order to be included in the approval of the ETF. Obviously, this could be extremely major for Ethereum and also all the coins associated with the Ethereum ecosystem, which is most of the altcoins. I know that the meme coins associated with Ethereum, including Pepe, are pumping right now extremely because of that link with Ethereum. So there's a lot of activity going on. It's not done yet. It's not official but everything looks for an approval of Ethereum. So as you see here, the new resistance level, it's clear now, it's $4,000 Ethereum on the four hour chart. On the daily chart, we see the upcoming levels that we are going to face for Ethereum. Like I indicated, $4,000 here was rejected in the 11th of March, 2024. We traded sideways and down up to a level of 3,000, found support there and bounce. Now we broke the MA50, we used the MA200 as support. Very, very classic. And now we're aiming towards 4,000. Many people are looking and indicating that if the ETF of Ethereum is approved, we could go as high as 6,000 or up to $8,000 extremely quickly or 60% move to the upside and after that the next target would be ten thousand dollars for ethereum by the end of the year so we are talking big numbers here a lot of activity uh, one of the things to note is that uh, on the filings i think they one of the requests from the sec was to remove staking from the etf i don't know exactly how that will work because most of the issuers of ETFs will exchange shares of the ETF for your money but in, in exchange they need to custody the Ethereum so will they have the right to stake that Ethereum while they own while, while they hold that Ethereum for you that's another question I know that the investors most probably will not have access to that staking rewards uh, at this stage if it's not included in the filing therefore some people may still choose to keep ethereum in self-custody to be able to stake it and get the re rewards themselves instead of shifting money to the etf however there's still the majority of people who have absolutely no idea about wallets keys self-custody therefore they will invest in the etf so there's a demand for that uh, and obviously all the institution banks and pension funds and things like that who want to have access to ethereum will use the multiple uh, ethereum etfs as the ideal vehicles to invest in the crypto asset if we get that ethereum etf this will change completely the crypto market because the next thing will be 
Who's next? Who's going to be the next coin to have its ETF? And the list is quite substantial. People are talking about Solana um, as the next one. It could be, it could be not. There's a lot of rumors for many coins. We don't know how this will be handled by the US SEC. But I think now the SEC is not going to be responsible for the crypto market. It's going to be another entity. So this can change very quickly. Within a week, Ethereum changed from being very bearish, very down, not a lot of price action to the upside, to a 20% move just on the rumors that the different companies updated their fighting rumors. So keep in mind, however, that if Ethereum pumps, let's say 40%, 50% or 60%, except expect profit taking and also a dip. So this will happen. It's normal. There's going to be volatility around that buying uh, if this becomes official. So be, just be aware of that. But in the long run, Ethereum will be higher. I'm not investing for these price movements. I'm investing for the long term. Therefore, I'm going to be patient. I don't trade with leverage, not financial advice. So I will never lose my coins. I'm being patient and select these sell prices eventually, depending on the cycles. So for me, it's next year, but maybe if we ever get a bear market. If not, I'm gonna hold my coins, continue my staking, buy here and there and accumulate as much as I can on the key disruptive assets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana are my main positions because they are disruptive in the crypto world. That's how I see things. The other coins are more speculative plays for fun. Meme coins are also for fun. But the disruptive ones, I repeat, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana are the ones that I chose. Not financial advice. And the weekly chart, we see here that... We're aiming towards 5,000 easily and beyond now after that. So on the weekly, we see that the top is at 4,800. We could see 5,000, 6,000 and so on fairly quickly. You see the volumes here for this huge pump of Ethereum were extremely high compared to what we have right now. So There's a lot of room of buying right now to be able to push the price of Ethereum a lot higher. So I hope you enjoyed this update for Ethereum. It's long overdue, but it's critical. Today, we should have an answer at 4 p.m. Eastern time. We could have the official event of the approval of the Ethereum ETF for the US market. See you all in the next video.